The team has so far collected detailed and relevant data from inaccessible communities in 36 settlements for Abaji, 45 settlements for Abuja Municipal, 36 settlements for Buari, 26 settlements for Guagualada, 120 settlements for Kuje, and 73 settlements for Kwali Area Councils. Most of the information gathered have never been collected and have now formed the basis for groundbreaking health statistics powered by Intel Corporation West Africa. Conceptualizing this program, we had to look at the very inordinate terrain that we have in our grassroots sector where some of the uh, locations are inaccessible, some of the people have never received health care, there are varied norms and cultures in the different locations. So we had to pull together a program that had a social economic distribution of the geography we intended to use as pilot, which was the FCT. Now our first involvement was putting together the concept. Once we had zeroed down on the concept and what the concept required, the next action step was to handpick the professionals that would work, these are doctors, nurses, and train them in all-round use of ICT. Um, we were lucky to have some doctors that were technology suave, and in the same vein, we had some that really needed to be brought up to speed, and we'd spend some time doing orientation and reorientation. Once the training was done, we went on an aggressive campaign of enlightenment to the rural populace, and this was the fact that technology was an intricate part of it. You needed to provide precise data to the doctors when they approached you. And we did the demographics. One, is, one very interesting part we were able to do was we worked with uh, some global health providers and they have built us access to the digital health information system, uh, which is uh, an application that enables you to get generic data on grassroots populates, demographics like age, date of birth, um, health status, and this is a very seamless application that um, when doctors get to use it in a rural area, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't belabor them and increase their burden. It's simplistic to use. Another very beautiful part was that we looked at what technology would best fit into these rural areas without compromising the security of the doctors. If we give them full-blown notebooks, then they will have to think of, oh, what is the security of my notebook vis-a-vis -vis being in this rural area? So Intel provided um, one of its um, emerging technology, which uh, part of Intel's new design, which is um, uh, the, the Hawk Peak which is a specially designed convertible net top and uh, this net top has got special features like ruggedity it can stand at uh, drop strength of almost uh, three meters um, it's got a flexibility of usage doctors didn't need to use the keyboard they could write on it like i'm doing right now uh, it had the flexibility of use like wireless internet access because they wanted the doctors to be on the field and report data back to the center while on the field all of this was a special design. I, I don't know of where it had been used within Intel, but that's the beauty of Intel, where we are dexterous enough to evolve usage models based on available technology and the readiness of the people to use this technology. So it was a combination of the right access device, uh, the right solutions and applications, the right training, and most of all, the enthusiasm of both parties to make this project succeed. We are collaborating with Intel the macro chief makers to provide real life data. As patients come in to the center, to the cluster center, their record, their personal records are taken and imputed into the system. The doctors have been taught how to upload whatever information they have at the end of the day or at the end of the week into the main server of the MDG.